welcome everyone to my channel that is fast and easy maths which is dedicated to give you tips and tricks related to mathematics so students today i'm going to give you a sure shot method okay it's like an hundred percent it will work in all the scenarios okay so here we are going to understand that how to uh, how to figure out any given number is prime number or not okay but before beginning with that let's just quickly uh, revise what is a prime number this prime number is a number which has factors of 1 and itself okay that's it it does not have any other factor apart from 1 and itself so any number who has factors more than this 1 itself and some other factors okay they are called what composite numbers more than two factors okay so i hope you all are clear on this okay so now see understand why am i doing this because this is one topic which is very very confusing for many of the students okay and i have shown previously methods but still in that also there were one or two scenarios where it was you know you had to do calculations one step further but in this particular video i'm going to show you just one step of calculation okay and then you are good to go so now what you're going to do in this is let's take for example if the number given to you was 71 okay and we had to figure out whether this particular number given is prime or not so first thing what you should do is take a square root and you should analyze this is lying between which two numbers. So this is lying between 8 and 9. Okay. So you will pick the higher number up. Okay. And you will write down all the prime numbers up to 9. So we have 2, 3, 5 and 7. Now your next step is just very very simple. You have to check whether this 71 number is divisible by 2, 3, 5 or 7. If yes then it is a composite number and if no then it is a prime number. So in this case you will see that since it is not an even number it is not divisible by 2. This addition is coming out to be 8. So again 8 is not divisible by 3. Last number is not 5 nor 0 so it is not divisible by 5 as well and with 7 7 into 10 gets you 70 so obviously 71 is not divisible by 7 so according to our particular analysis we can directly now say that this is a prime number okay <clears throat> now let's take a bigger number but before going ahead if you like the way i'm explaining then please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos also, don't forget at the end, I'm going to put up a DIY question whose answers y'all can mention in the comment section. Okay. So now, uh, again, let's see. We will take a number which is 123. Sorry, the number is 123. We'll take a square root and it is lying between what? 11 and 12. So we'll take the prime numbers up to the higher number which is 12. Okay. So we'll go up to 2, 3, 5. 7 and 11 okay now here if you look closely this is not an even number see understand there are few things which you need to always remember okay um uh, if the number given is an even number or if it is ending in 5 or 0 or if the sum total sum is divisible by 3 these are the first three prime numbers okay so if you know when you don't when you have seen all these criteria and when you know that if it is an even number you can directly say that the given number is a composite number okay if it is an even number or if it is ending in 5 or 0 or if it is the sum is divisible by 3 so in this case it is what 1 plus 2 plus 3 that gets you what 6 so again this is divisible by 3 so if it is divisible by 3 I can say this is not a prime 
number. Okay. Now let's try a bigger number than this. Okay. So we have oh, 301. So again this will lie between 17 and 18. Okay. So now let's try. <coughs> Again, see, now, like I said, we'll first check these three criteria, which is what, if it is an even number, no. This is not ending in 5 or 0. And the sum total is also not divisible by 3. So, by default, 2, 3, 5 is gone. Now, which is left is what? 7, 11, and uh, 13, and 17. Okay. So, now, if you check closely, for 7 also, if you divide and see, it's not going to work. For 11 also, it will not work. 13 also it doesn't work and for 17 also it doesn't work. So now you must be wondering that how did I do this? I have done this in my head because of the divisibility rule criteria. I have made a separate video on this. Divisibility rules for 11, 13 and 17. Okay. So I'll put a link of it on top. So please go ahead and check it out. Okay. But that will, if you literally practice it for like, you know, more than three, four sums, then you will get the hang of this. So from this, I can say that 301, this is a prime number. Okay. Now, let's see for again for 637. Let's take the number given to you is 637. So let's take a square root. So it's lying between what? 25 and twenty. 6. Why? Because 25 square is what? 625. So it's lying between 25 and 26. So we are again going to check with what? It's not an even number. It's not ending in 5. It's not divisible by 3 because the sum is coming out to be 16. Okay. So now we'll check for 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23. Okay. Now let's check for 7. When you see, you can divide this completely by 7 and the answer is coming out to be 91. So, in this case, this is divisible. So, this particular number given over here is not a prime number. Okay, I hope you all are getting the hang of how to do these kind of sums. Okay. Now let's do one more. Let's very quickly see the given number over here is 473. So this is actually lying between what 21 and 22. So students see please understand to use this particular trick your knowledge of divisibility rules your knowledge of square roots has to be very very strong. Without that this trick using of this trick will get a bit difficult. Okay. So now again we will check. So it's Addition is not coming out to be divisible by 3. It's not an even number. It's not ending in 5 or 0. So let's check for 7. No, with 7 also it's not working. With 11, let's check. Yes, with 11 it is working. It is completely divisible by 11. So now we can say that uh, this number is again not a prime number. So I hope you all are getting the hang of this. Okay, so now coming to your DIY, I want you to tell me what is this particular number, 209, if this is a prime number or not. Okay, so do let me know your answers in the comment section. So that's it for today. I will see you in the next video.